Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video, we are going to quick revise about the auditing subject. Okay. Previously in our channel, I have already done an important question video regarding this auditing subject. So this subject is for semester 5 students of BCom general. So this subject will not be for BCom computer application students and general students you will have this subject and uh, it is an 18 marks question paper and 3 hours is the time duration. In part A they will give 8 questions. You need to attempt 5 questions. Each carries 4 marks. Okay. In part B 5 questions you will get in each question you will have internal choice so either a or b any one thing you need to uh, write write it okay and uh, total in your syllabus five units you are having students so in this unit uh, whatever the things you need to learn in every unit what are the topics you need to be perfect everything will a uh, quick revise okay uh, in this video i will tell about the gunshot questions so in each video i will give only three three questions so if you perfect with that three questions then it will be okay okay so first of all students from first unit uh, the main important questions first we will discuss about the long so it will be useful because part b consisting of 60 marks no so each carries 12 marks so 12 marks answer side by side three sides must and should you should write and for short one and a half side you should write okay so the first important question is what are the different uh, types of audit this is a most important question from auditing subject and the second is what do you mean by auditing discuss its objectives what do you mean by auditing and its objectives types of objectives uh, what is meant by auditing and objectives of auditing this is the two important questions and the third important question is explain the evaluation and importance of auditing explain the evaluation and importance of auditing this is the third important question if you learn this th three questions it will be more than enough from first unit okay now we will discuss about the second unit students okay so i don't want to give the all the stuff which you are having in your syllabus content only three three questions in each unit i will give so prepare and perfect with that three questions again i'm saying prepare that three questions okay in that don't reduce it okay so the first question from unit number two is what are the qualification and disqualification of an auditor this is an important question from unit number two every time it will repeat so it is time also it is a chance to repeat it okay the second question is what are the rights and duties of an auditor who is an auditor what are his uh, roles and responsibilities like this if you learn this topic as in general means you will easily get to understand okay students the third important and the last important question from unit number two is explain uh, civil and criminal liabilities of an auditor explain civil and criminal liabilities of an auditor try to make a note of it so it will be useful okay so why i am not giving the important questions like directly means many of the students are not watching the videos and simply they are skipping the videos they are learning all the questions so if you see the video means then only you will understand so that's purpose i'm not giving the important questions text okay so that's why i'm saying orally it will be useful make a book and pen and make the note of it questions okay from unit number three for long which will be useful for long that is the first important question is explain the importance of internal audit explain the importance of internal audit and the second question is what is internal check and what is internal audit what is internal check and what is internal audit this is the second important question and the third important question is what is the meaning of internal control and what are its objectives what is the meaning of internal control and what are its objectives this is the third important question from unit number three in auditing subject okay students so now we will discuss about the unit number four it is a big unit and many questions you will have so in that i will have filtered only three questions so try to route it okay what is vouching explain the objectives of vouching okay this is an important question and the second question is what do you mean by outstanding assets and outstanding liability generalized question easy question everyone can attempt this question what do you mean by outstanding liabilities and what do you mean by outstanding assets okay the third important question is what do you mean by basic principles of an audit in an 
EDP environment. What do you think about the basic principles of an audit in an EDP environment? This is the third important question from unit number four. If you learn these three questions, it will be more than enough. Okay, from unit number five, I have given only three questions, students. What do you mean by audit report and what are its procedures? What do you mean by audit report and what are its procedure? This is also an important question. Try to make a note of it. And the second important question is roles and functions of audit committee. What are the different types of roles and functions of an auditing committee? This will be asked in long. And the third important question is distinguish between verification and valuation. Okay. Differences between, vari uh, differences between verification and valuation. These are the three important questions from last unit, that is unit number five. If you are perfect with these three questions, it will be enough. In each unit, I have given only three, three questions, students. If you are perfect with these three questions, you can score oh great compulsory you can score oh great whatever the questions i have discussed in this video this will be enough and coming back to the passing marks passing marks is 36 okay so try to learn all the questions which i have mentioned in this video okay because the important questions were given by the senior faculty so it will be useful for you all now we will discuss the short questions so short questions i will give only the tab and the important questions of a short what they will ask auditing what do you mean by auditing appointment and remuneration of an auditor what is mean by audit marketing what is mean by audit notebook and workbook what is mean by audit program and the last question is what do you mean by engage uh, engagement letter what do you mean by engagement letter try to learn all the six questions it will be enough for short okay if you are perfect with long questions ma you can easily attempt short questions okay if you don't know the question also try to give an attempt it will be gives weightage to your overall marks okay many of the students will tell that i have don't know that question ma ma'am that's why i have left for choice okay don't do like that so if you don't know the question also try to attempt it try to write the generalized answer related to the stuff okay so this is all about the video if you like this video then like share and subscribe to our channel and share with all your friends and groups this video will be useful for them also and do comment me in the comment section how you felt about the video and after completing your examination about auditing you please comment me so that i will get to know uh, whether it will be useful or not okay so and uh, many of the students will neglect said subject because it is the last subject will be you in a chill mode, right? So don't do like that. So don't keep any backlogs as you are a final year student. So try to learn all the questions which I have discussed. Once again, all the very best for your preparation and examination. See you all next video. Bye-bye.